Hello, my name is Montana Hope Stoneman. I am 24 years old and I am a professional dancer and aerialist as well. So I was originally born in Sydney in New South Wales and then I moved to Brisbane in Queensland and then moved back down to Sydney again. Um, so when I was young, I trained with Jerome Wilson's Dance Academy and then I trained with Kick Dance Studio. And then once I graduated, um, I went into a full-time performing arts program at ED5 in New South Wales. So straight out of full-time, I got a contract uh, with Tokyo Disney, where I worked as an aerialist on a two-point harness. I'd never done that before in my life. Um, so when I got there, they trained us for about three months. Um, and then I became a professional aerialist and did that for about 14 months. After that, I immediately got um, Shanghai Disney as well, where I went over there and I performed as a character performer and also a dancer. So I got to dance with the locals. Um, I got to be a character, quite a few characters in a couple of the shows. So I did characters like Anna, um, Merida, Jasmine. Um, we also did a big um, dance summer show and I did that for about uh, 13 months. And then straight after that, I went back and did the same role I did in Tokyo again. And I did that for about uh, 16 months. And yeah, so, so far I've uh, mainly done contract work. I've done a few um, gigs back in Brisbane. So like the Stefan's Hair Show, um, Brisbane um, cheerleading performances with Broncos, a few of the St. George Dragons um, down in Sydney, but uh, mainly contract work. And that's where my more so passion lies. Um, so there's a few other jobs that I aspire to go to. Um, so I would always love to go back to Japan and work there because I basically just, I love the country. Um, so working in Osaka, doing the Waterworld show or even um, in Singapore doing the Waterworld show there. A stunt show and it's something that's a little bit more out of my element that that kind of excites me. I've always dreamed about working with Cirque du Soleil um, as either a dancer or an aerialist, so that's a big passion um, and goal for mine as well. It can be a positive thing and it can also be a negative thing. So it I think it comes down to the way you define success. So if you define success in you personally achieving something or getting a goal or doing something that you're proud of yourself, um, that can be a very positive impact. But if you count success as seeing what someone else is doing and what their job and what they're experiencing is success, then sometimes it can become quite negative. I'm not the most technical turn dancer or the most flexible dancer, but I do have my goals and I'm working towards my goals and as long as I'm putting in the effort, that's the success that I need. So in terms of artists being respected within Australia, I think um, compared to um, some other countries, I think it takes a lot of the way we portray ourselves. Um, if we are constantly handing out free work, and saying it's okay, no, it's just for um, building up my resume, then it's gonna happen. People are going to ask you to work for free. If you keep allowing yourself to do that, then people will take advantage of that. Um, and it's not particularly a, a negative thing, it's just if that's what you wanna do, that's okay, but it will show within the industry if we keep doing that. So I think as a dancer, I personally, don't want to work for free. I have a lot of, I have to put in a lot of time, a lot of effort. Sometimes I have to cancel things to be able to make room for a particular job. And so if I'm going to be putting my time, my effort in, I would like to be equally compensated for that. I know in the dance community, we've recently had problems. Um, for many years, we've actually had problems with not being um, paid for the work that we put in. And again, as a dancer, it's not something that you just go and study for a few weeks. It's something that we've really been working on for our entire lives. So just a little uh, thing that I wanted to mention, especially as performers, we are very strict in ourselves with our bodies. 
and our image, a lot of the time that's what it comes down to. We may or may not get a job because of how we look. But during this time, I know that we've all probably put on some weight. I personally have put in a little bit of weight. Um, we're not all in our performance ready condition and that is completely okay. Because as an athlete, which we are an athlete, we have times where you know we need to be in performance condition, ready to go. We're dancing every single day, training every single day, and we have to have you know very strict meals to make sure you know you don't throw up on stage. Um, I personally have struggled with food issues for a very long time. I have been severely anorexic before um, and bulimic, and I have learnt a very long lesson and had to develop a very healthy relationship with the way I exercise and the way I eat and know that my weight fluctuates sometimes and that's okay. Um, just know that you're in the same situation as everyone, you're not alone. Um, I've had quite a few friends you know, contact me crying, saying they don't know if they should be a dancer anymore, they're not getting any jobs, anything they apply for isn't going through and unfortunately the work just isn't out there right now and it has nothing to do with our ability um, or performance at all. It's just this is a pandemic, it is what it is, it sucks, um, but we're all in the same boat and we're all here to support each other.